What's going on everybody? I'm James Young with jamesyoung.io and this is Teach Me How to Lightroom. So you just took some dope pictures, you just installed Lightroom and you don't know where to get started. This is the video for you. We're gonna look exactly my workflow start to finish so that you can efficiently edit your photos and make them look super dope and ready to post. Let's go ahead and get right into Lightroom. Now don't forget, there is a link in the description to this exact raw file so that you can download it and follow along and get these exact results. So here we are in Lightroom and we're in our library module. We have our photos imported and I have the ones selected that I wanna edit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the develop module or you can even press D on your keyboard if you're feeling perky. And this is where we can do any of our editing. We can add contrast, lower our highlights, raise the blacks, make a medium tone curve, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna click reset, and this is gonna be step-by-step step the process that I actually use when I'm editing my portraits. So this image obviously, again, is completely unedited. You can see here I'm clicking reset and we're good to go. The very first thing I do is I start with a preset. Now you can use whatever preset that you want, but I just happen to use my own presets. As you hover over the presets with the most recent version of Lightroom Classic CC, it's gonna actually give you a preview without committing anything. So if you have commitment issues and you don't wanna click that button, you don't have to worry about it. It'll show you what it looks like. So I like the way the first one looks. And this is gonna give me a great foundation to start with. As I scroll down, you can see there's already been some color grading done, some split toning done, some rather advanced things within editing has already been completed for me. But this isn't where I wanna leave it. Remember that a preset is really just a foundational piece to your edit. It's gonna be pretty rare, if ever, that you're gonna click on a preset and it's done. With portraits, the first thing I wanna look at after I apply my preset is the color temperature. Portraits typically look better with a warmer cast on them. And what that means for editing is in your color balance here. So you can see this temperature slider. Right now it's 4750. I shoot auto white balance when I'm out in the field because I know that I'm gonna have full creative control over the white balance in post. So I'm gonna click this and drag it to the right. That's gonna make our image much warmer. So we're gonna drag all the way to about 6100 on this image. If I double click the word temp, it's gonna reset it to the where it was when it started. And you can see that it looks so much better with some added warmth. But that's not the only thing I wanna do here. While this certainly does look good, I think it can use a little more bite to the image. And what that means for me is adding a little bit of contrast. So you can see with this slider, with this presets, already at 52 contrast. So I don't wanna adjust this slider anymore. I'm gonna do it in a couple of different ways. Here in the basic module, we have whites. I'm gonna scroll this to the right just a little bit to introduce a little bit more exposure into the white spectrum of the histogram. That looks much better. Then I'm gonna do the opposite with the blacks. I'm gonna bring these down. There we go. And that's already looking much better. The next thing I wanna look at with contrast in particular is the tone curve. Now you can see here that this has already been adjusted from where it normally is because of this preset again. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna introduce a little bit more contrast. So what I wanna do is lower the shadows and the blacks to do that. So I'm gonna take this node here in the left quadrant of the tone curve and just drag it down just a little bit. Then I'm gonna do the opposite on the right hand side. This is where the highlights and whites are. I'm gonna raise those up just a tad. Actually, I don't like that. I'm gonna undo. And I do that very frequently when I'm editing in real life. It's all about experimentation. Now that I'm done with this tone curve, I'm gonna scroll up and then open up my shadows just a little bit to compensate for the amount that I lowered them here in the tone curve so that I can kind of split the difference just a little bit. So at that point, I'm actually gonna come to this area in the basic panel where it says presence, and I'm gonna adjust the clarity. 
This is specifically with portraits. I'm just gonna cut this down just a little bit to about minus 10. It just kind of takes the edge off your model skin. Now with this main edit all done, what I'm gonna do is scroll down to details. And here where it says sharpening, I'm gonna add a little bit of sharpening to the situation. I'm gonna go to about 70. Now with sharpening, be careful. I don't want you to get the wrong idea here. Sharpening is not gonna fix an image that's out of focus, but it will enhance the detail of what is in focus. So if I go ahead and turn this off, and then I turn it back on, you can kind of see it's a really subtle detail, but every little thing counts. So I'll go ahead and zoom out. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of noise reduction. Now I shot this at ISO 100. There's gonna be very little noise to work with. So I'm only gonna scroll this to about maybe 40, and then that's gonna smooth things out as well. So as I scroll back up, just to get things reset, a couple of things that will really benefit this edit is a graduated filter. So the tool can be found right here, or if you're feeling perky, you can press M on your keyboard. I'm gonna double click on effects to clear out everything that was adjusted from the time before. And I'm gonna create a graduated filter from the right side of the frame into the left. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna bring our highlights down just a little bit and bring our exposure down just a little bit. And the emphasis there is just a little bit. Point two of a stop, I'm bringing the highlights down quite a bit, but those really are more like whites, but we'll just keep it there for sake of argument. Let's turn that off and turn it back on. That looks good, I like the way that looks. We're gonna keep those settings and drag another one from the left side of the frame towards the right. And we wanna be very careful about making sure this gradient doesn't touch the model's skin. Reason being is we wanna darken the outside of the frame to help bring our eyes towards the focus of the image, which would be our model. So let's look what happens when we turn it back off and then we turn it back on. You can see that it helps guide our eyes where we want them to be looking. So let's turn that off by clicking on it again. And let's see where we started with our in-camera shot. There we are. And then boom, that's where we took it. So you can see we can get some pretty advanced editing in just a few steps, really, especially when you use a very good preset as a foundation. So here's where the preset started. Great, not that bad. Definitely a good starting place. I'm gonna press Command Z to undo that. And then boom, look at where we took it. It has so much more contrast, so much more bite. And it's definitely ready to throw up on Instagram and just go out there into the wild. So hey, did you learn something? If you did, it would be awesome if you left a like on the video. If this is your first time checking out one of the videos, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. I'm James Young with jamesyoung.io, and this is Teach Me How to Lightroom.